Hey everybody, are we ready to do another section of our um, journal that we're doing from our journal kit from Studio 28E? Sherry has generously shared with me so I can help you guys learn how to do a beginner journal. We start out with the folio and that is one of the easiest ones to do and they're very nice. I really, I do a lot of folios. I really like them a lot. So today what I thought we would do is we're going to decorate some envelopes, which I have said, I think in every video, but here they are. <laughs> They're really going to get done today, honest. So I went through and I sorted out some things that I thought would be nice. And this one I'm going to, here, let's set this all aside now. We're not using that right now. On this one, I, what we're going to do is put, attach these envelopes right into our signatures. So I thought on the front of this one, we put this beautiful piece of wallpaper. I trimmed it down just a teeny bit so it would fit exactly on here, just the way I want it to look. So that will be our front. I've got some journaling cards that we can put inside. On the back, we can use uh, we could use pa um, pattern paper. We could use dictionary page. We could use um, some scraps from our signature that I'll show you in a minute. Let's see what do, how much of this music do we have here? Maybe I'll use some of this music page. Yeah, let's do that. We could put some of this music page right on here. Yep, I think we'll do that for the back. And for this side, let's use, how big is that? What have I got here? I got a piece of, piece of ledger paper we could put on this side. Good, good, good. And then we'll find something, something, something to set on this side as well. So, all right, let's get going. Let's see, I want it to go in my book like this. How have you guys been getting along creating your journals? I hope good. If you have any questions, always make sure and, you know, pop them below in the comments or you can email me. I add my email address is listed below. So, you know, any questions or anything at all, just shoot me an email and I will get right back with you. Oh, that looks nice. I like that. Is it straight? A little bit not straight. I might not be able to move it. Let's see. Nope, it's not going nowhere. So we'll put that back down there. Let's see, do I need those? I'm going to give you a little, another little shot here. This is that um, PVA glue. It dries pretty quickly. Okay, so there we go there. Shall we do I do the music paper here. Now I don't want it to be over the top of our opening there. Pencil. So I'm going to mark it Let's see. I like a little, leave a little border. So I'll mark it right there and right there. And cut that off. Oops, got a little piece of wallpaper in there. We can use that somewhere. We don't want to throw that away. It's pretty. Pretty, pretty. 
Okay. So we've got that for there. Let's put a little, how about a little bit of dictionary page on this side? Or do we want the ledger on this side? Let's do the dictionary page. It's kind of matching in color. So we'll do that. And this, the easiest way to do this is flip this around. <laughs> and since this is two sided, it's, it'll be okay. It won't be like on the wrong side or anything. Whoopsie. We'll just trace along here. Across the top. And down the sides. There we go. And I'm going to cut just inside my lines, which you can't see but very well because I can't very well see them because we want it to be just a little smaller than our, our flat. Hopefully I can cut this straight. That's not straight. And there. Yeah, that is way not straight. careful with these old book pages. They're very fragile. Some of them. Some of them all you can do is glue them down you because if you fold them they'll crack and won't be a whole lot of good. So we can take this. Let's see how see how I did there. I think we need a little bit off of each side. I want to leave a little border so it matches the other side. That needs to not be so swervy. There we go. So that'll go there. And then on the outside. some ledger and again since this is the same side I'm just going to set this on here and trace this not that one that's a music paper there we go I'll just trace this right here let's see if we can get so oh yeah we can get some of those numbers on there No wonder I can't cut straight. I can't even trace straight. Now I gotta get my eraser out. Okay. Yeah, our, our papers were a little bit long for our folio because I wanted the lines to go as you would write on them instead of being in there this away. So that's my logic for that. Okay, let's, whoopsie, not that one. Get rid of these little pieces. Let's see how we did here. Oops, upside down. And there we go. Got a piece of ledger. That we can write on. All right, cool. How about we get them glued down? And make sure we, we're gluing the proper side here. Doesn't 
and that one's got more on it. We'll put, yep, we'll put that side up. Well, I got my glue. I ran out of glue. You know how you have a whole bunch of something and then all of a sudden it's, you don't have any? <laughs> That's what I do with my glue. I do not even remember using the rest of it. But it came came next day from Amazon, so that was all good. And my eraser. There we go. Now we got this flap, and that's going to go, doesn't matter, like so. Can you hear the crickets? I got my window open. So if you hear cars going by or dog barking or anything, you know, you know what it is. I sure am enjoying having these windows open. Not the biggest fan of air conditioning. But my husband is, so thankfully it's been pretty nice. We're supposed to be tomorrow like in the 80s and then Thursday in the 60s. So yeah, go figure. And then here's our piece. For the bottom. I don't want it. This music paper to stick because that'll be the end of it. And see what a mess I got already? It's amazing. I told myself I was not gonna make big mess today. And I'm off the I bet you I was out of frame. Oh, good news. <laughs> I got new glasses coming. <laughs> I'm going to be able to see, I hope. I went to the my eye doctor and she told me I had cataracts and that could be what a lot of my problem was. So then I went to a ophthalmologist and he told me he didn't really think I needed to have anything done with them yet. So they gave me a prescription and so just waiting for those to come. Okay, here's our envelope. All ready to go. And I think I put them back in. No, I didn't either. Where's our, here we go. Here's our little journal cards. Let's put a little ink on these, hey? So anyway, that well, let's see when we go. Oh, just yesterday. Yeah, seven to ten days, she said. So, or they, yeah, this one was a lady where I got my glasses. So, There we go. Now we got two nice little journaling cards to set in our envelope. That is going to be sewn into our signature. Put that right there so we know where that's at. Because, uh, yeah, you know me. Okay, now we have this Visa envelope. And uh, what was I think? Okay, I'm, I got my stuff mixed up. I'm going to put this paper inside and then I thought I would put this picture so that it's centered in here, hopefully. So let's do that. glue that in so want to be slightly smaller than my envelope 
That'll help to get it in there. And straight helps too. There we go. So since this is going to be too long right now, <laughs> yeet. What was that thinking? This is going to go in here. Oh, there's a little plastic thing in there. Okay, good. We'll get that covered up. So I want that to go in there like that. And this one. I want to be so just about edged up with that and right above that flower. Here, put the lid on this one. The lid. Hello. There it is. Lord have mercy. Okay. There we go. Now, let's see. I want it to go that way. So, this way. Not that way. No glue on the, on the window. Oh, there's a little piece of that plastic that's in here. is hanging up. Stop it. There we go. You couldn't see what I was doing because I was holding it up against me. It will go. It will go. too good. Sometimes they just slide right in and sometimes that happens. I just stuck back to that thing before I put it in there, but we'll do it this way. Um, I guess I really like a challenge. <laughs> okay, it's gonna go in there like this. Not upside down. For this, I 
check it out. So, I wonder, is it long enough? Nope. I thought we would do some piecing with what? The rest of our dictionary page. Oh, we got, got some of this. I think we'll put some of this on the back. I think that'll look nice. Okay, so this we can put on the back, erase my pencil. This is going to go in the book. I already said that wasn't big enough, but I don't ever listen to what I, what I say. <laughs> I don't want ledger paper with that. What do we got here? Nope, 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 nope. How big is this? This is that paper, that calligraphy paper. And I'm going to fold it over and one side will go on the front and one on the back. Hopefully, hopefully I did that right. husband is over to our son-in-law's dad's house helping him side his garage. He's been working on that. He worked on that all weekend. Yesterday he took the day off because we had appointments and stuff to do. So got a little pencil mark there. And that just fit on there nice. hanging here. There we go. And this one will go 
my mess. I'm amazed I worked that out. That it, I mean, that that worked because I figured I'd have, would have a blank side on one side. <laughs> Paper is really thin, unless that's it. I'm not sure what that is. It's not really acting like it wants to come off, so this needs to be trimmed a little bit over here on this side. There we go. Good. Let's get this on. That way. going to cover this up on the front except it's got all this visa stuff all over it. We don't want that. We do not want that. So let's use, oh you know what I wonder. You can see through what how it's going to say. might be able to do that but we might not. So let's Use that's pretty thick from the other stuff. All right, let's use this. I'm not going to bother about the um, about this going over the window too much. Because it, it'll just cover that curve up. And we could take it apart and trace it, but no, we're not going to do that. Two of these strips off here. Woo! Two of those, and then for the top. Are they the same? I was thinking they were a little... Nope, they are, aren't they? Okay, cool. So we got two of those. If I cut one more, should be enough for the other sides. Let's make a little mark. Whoops, not there. Try and make them straight. Okay. Let's 
Well, I think I'll just cut it off. Nip that off. You don't suppose it'd be long enough like that, do you? Oh, by golly, it is. I didn't even need to cut that third one. How about that? Come here. I think I will do the short ones. It doesn't even need to be that long. Oh. I think I just made a mistake. Mistake. I did. I cut it too short. Well, I guess it's a good thing I did cut. Where'd it go? There we go. B on here. Since it's going to go this way, we'll put it here. You get out of there. you down there. Add on my finger. There we go. There's that one. Got a little trimming. German. Okay, there's the other one. And then I had somewhere this seed packet. This is going to be left just like it is because I really like it. It's very pretty. And you don't want, I mean, you could write stuff over here on this side. It'd be just fine. This just has, um, inside here, it's like a little folded journal card. So that's what we're going to do there. So simple, simple, simple. our three envelopes. It's 
pick this up a little bit here. I'm going to pause while I clean up. Okay, back. I thought I wasn't going to put a pocket here, but I decided I was going to because I have this beautiful piece of lace. Oh, and I want to show you too. As I was picking up, I found this little strip of wallpaper, so I added it to this envelope for that. I found this beautiful piece of lace in here, and I thought, let's make a nice little light lacy pocket. I think that would look nice. So I got my, whoopsie, Fabri-Tac, and we shall stick this down. Guessing, just guessing right there. I folded it over for a reason. Just so it look cuter. No. <laughs> well, yeah. But I have a plan. Okay. There. Now we'll let that dry for a little bit. And I want to put some glue just on this little stripe here. So that will stay down. There we go. No, don't let it glue to the paper. Let's put something in there, shall we? Oh, what? This will work. Just want to keep it up off of the... There we go. That way it'll stick to that, but not to the back. This, then it wouldn't be a pocket, and that wouldn't be <laughs> what we wanted there. Now, let's set this over here and let me show you our signatures. So I took all the paper paper that was in here and folded it up. I trimmed its size, folded it, and so we have our signature. Now, every so often, we're going to have an envelope in here, and I thought maybe we would put this pretty one right there. And... How about this one right here? And this one right there. Just like that. Maybe not just like that. Let me see. That one's in the middle. That one's on the top. Where are you at? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? There's the yellow one. Oh, for crying out loud, the little fingers. That's the yellow one. Where'd the gray one go? Come on. Closer to the front. Yellow. Oh, I know what's wrong. I'm looking for it. There it is. I was looking for the whole thing, and it's just that little snippet on this side. Hello. Okay. 
we're going to go to the middle. There we go. And I've got some clips. We're going to clip this together. Make sure everything's all pushed up nice in the middle. Like that. Now, since this is small, I'm just going to like eyeball where I want my um, holes to be. So... If I was making a big journal, I would have a template and have it all marked out. Put that one through there. And one there. This is just a piece of foam that was in, I don't know what. Something we got. And there. Now we got those holes, so I'm going to come over here to my where we're going to have our signature, which is right here. Pencil. And I'm going to go ahead and mark where those are so I can put my holes in the folio. Remember, we put that tape on there for extra strength. Okay, I saved us all a lot of frustration by threading my needle <laughs> before we got started. So when you do this, they say to measure three times the length your book or the height of your book so we got one two three and it's going to be too much but that's okay rather have too much than not enough those tags out of the way there so here we go we're going to start in the middle we're going to go through the folio or your string. Here's a good tip. Clip your string in your clip so you don't pull it through because yeah that's it. that's happened. That has happened. Then we're gonna go through the top. Yeah I said through the, there we go. <laughs> through the top. Pull your string through. Let's give it a little tug. We'll snug everything up when we're done. Now we're going to go out the bottom. And now we're going to go back in the middle. And you want to be careful when you do this that you don't poke your needle through your thread and uh, baker's twine is not the best decision for this because it's not a tightly put together. There we go. go through here. Give it a little pull. I don't want to go through that thread. That's the main thing I don't want to do. Oh, goodness gracious. Always. Okay. Through the folio. Pull that thread. And... And the signature. We can unhook this. Thumb through our pages to help us get through. Okay. 
and if you have to go one at a time, one at a time. It's not a race. I think everything is going through pretty well here by the way it feels. And yep, here we go. Back up. It's tight to get through this one. There and into our envelope. There we go. Take off your needle, unclip your thread. Okay, we want to make sure everything's nice and snug. This is too loose. So we're going to pull and pull. Not too hard. You don't want to rip your paper. Do that. That's what you want. That sounds right there. You can go ahead and tie this in a knot. Over, under, under, over. There we go. And our signature is inside our book. Yay! How cool. Almost done. Almost. Okay. Since I'm using this twine, I thought we'd use that for our tags. Not that one. That one goes in, so in the book. So I just cut a little piece, fold it in half, thread it through your eyelet to front to back, poke your strings through the loop. There you go. You've got a little tag topper. Okay. These are journal cards. So, no toppers are necessary for that. Here's their signature. Here's our little lacy pocket. It's all dry. And these two, that one is going to go in there. Now, when you bind up your your uh, signatures, you can use what I have, baker's twine. You can use regular cotton string. You could use jute twine if it's thin. You could use embroidery floss. You can use wax linen thread. So, all kind of choices. No rules. It's your book. You do what you want to do. Get this in here. There's a little tag in a pocket tag, tag pocket. Let's cut those down a little bit. There we go. And then this one. Gets tucked right in there. Okay, now what we got to do is just a little bit more decorating. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I wanted to make this more secure as a pocket here, so I didn't, I wasn't sure what I was going to do. So, oh, I don't know. What shall we do? What shall we do? I guess we can just leave it. I don't think it'll come out. Plus, it's going to be, oops, I think it'll be fine. Yep, yep. Okay. Now, here's what I, somewhere, 
this little lazy pocket back here. This comes with the kit. There's a, a ball pin with some a bead dangle. And there's some pretty buttons on here. Let's see. Let's do this. And I thought we'd pin this right here on our lace pocket. I think that will look nice. There we go. We should put some, maybe we should put some buttons on along with it, eh? Or, I don't know if we can get this switched around now since it's through that lace. Yeah, let's put some buttons on. I'll put one behind and one in front. That will look nice, I'm pretty sure. There. And then, again, let's bring this up here. Fasten it. Oh, that little ducks. Look at that. Isn't that cute? I like that a lot. I've been keep looking at this fabric. I'm not quite sure what I want to do with this. I want to put it somewhere. Somewhere, somewhere. How about if we just put some up across the top of that page right there? I think that would look nice. Some more glue. This is um, the glue I get from the Dollar Tree. It's by Beacon. It's called Poster Board Glue. And it works just as well as Fabri-Tac, Fabri-Fix. It's made by the same company. It smells the same, acts the same. So I'm assuming it's about the same. Yeah, it works really good for fabric. Let's see. Let's get let's get an area where we got pretty flowers. Spread that glue out with your finger and then it won't like seep up into your fabric. Because nobody wants seeped fabric. Doesn't even have to be straight. Ah, I do like that. I will put a little bit more underneath here. Just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Give it a little smear. There we go. I knew I wanted to put that someplace. I just didn't know where. All right. We got our tags. We got our signature. Got some. Got a couple of tabs. I think I do. Yep, I do. That's thick. Thick, thick, thick. thick. We can stick them onto here and we we'll have some pretty tabs on our pages. Let's do that. You can use anything for to make your tabs with. You can make them out of circles. I've done that a lot. You can just make cut rectangles. Do that. You get a little adventurous. You can work on cutting the little swervy part out. So you can make tabs out of anything. These are called uh, whale tails. They're by Stampin' Up, and they are uh, no longer being made. 
and if you can find them, they're upwards of $100 for one of them, which is ridiculous. I have a scrap store that I go to sometimes, and you would not believe what I found in the scrap store for $6. Yep, found a whale tail. So that was quite the find. I told her, I said, I kind of feel bad. I said, and if you want to charge me more, you can. But I said, if you get your hands on another one of these, I said, I suggest you raise the price because they're very expensive. She said, oh no, you can have it. For $6, not you can have it. <laughs> you can pay $6 for it. So, so it really pays to go to, like this is a scrap store for arts. Um, I don't know if they have them in any other, it's called, the name of it is called Rescrap. But um, yeah, you can find a lot of things, you know, envelopes and file folders and Paper, punches, dies, stamps, samples, wallpaper samples, fabric samples, all kinds of stuff in there. So, and don't forget garage sales and, um, you know, thrift stores. Antique sales are nice, but, or, you know, stores, shops are nice. But watch your prices because they tend to be a little bit more pricier than like a thrift store would. Unless they don't know what they have. And then, you know, you can get lucky. Old books, you know. All kind of things. Keep your eye out. Goodwill, Salvation Army, places like that. Secondhand shops. All right, got those. Now, where will we put them? Let me show it. No, but it's not going to work there yet. That is just going to. This has its own tab. So how about we put a tab on a couple of our pieces of paper? very bright outside. I'm sitting in front of my window so hopefully it's not too dark. I say as we're almost through. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. There we go. We got one there. And let's put one in the back someplace. I'm going to put that on. Can't put it on there. What about this piece? That's it. This one's pretty sturdy. Let's put it on that one. Okay, we got that one towards the top, so we'll put this one towards the bottom. say right about there. There we go. All right. That goes to this. That goes on there. Okay. Take a look and see what we have done. I know, before we are done, before we are done, oops, oh, you gotta make sure your tabs don't stick out too far. Okay, that, that's 
it's not good. bottom one's okay but this one not okay trying to not tear my paper see these are the things you got to watch out for <laughs> yeah. make sure it fits first These little, uh, got these little things here left over. How about we put some of those down someplace? Put this, put this lady, put that lady right there. Where is my, here it is. Now you, well, you, you can't see right at the moment, but I will show you when I'm done. There is plenty of more things in here to make a journal out of. So, yeah, this is such a cool starter set. There's, there's a ton of stuff I haven't even touched. So... Like I said, you, I don't know. You could probably make at least four folios out of this kit, I would imagine. You could make a heck of a big journal out of it, I'll tell you. It has everything in there you possibly could need or want. And I have one more little thing I want to show you before we're done, too. little girl here. Let's see where we can put her. Let's set her right there. That pocket needs a little something something. Oh, she looks pretty there. Okay. We need something here, but I'll work on that. Okay, so this can be finished. We got our folio. We need somehow to keep this closed. Well, let me tell you what I'm going to use. <laughs> I have this piece of trim that was included, and I'm. Oh, hold on. Okay, so sorry about that. Little girl had to take a trip outside, so yeah. Anyhow, this beautiful piece of trim had all these little tassels with beads on them that was included. So what I did was my big strip of muslin that came with this kit, this one, I tore it in half lengthwise because it was pretty wide. And now I will show you. What I'm how I did this. So 
so we're going to have little tassels on the end of our tie. First, I rolled that up, I put it inside the trim. Also, very first thing I did was I took fray check, or you can just use glue on the edges to keep it from coming apart. And, well, let's see, I don't think this is going to work. Nope. Anyway, <laughs> I should have put a knot in my thread before I wrap that around. So we were ready. But, you know, come on, come on, come on. It's a knot for crying out loud. Not that hard. Okay, got a knot in my thread. Here's our end of our tie. So I just tuck that inside there and then just wrapped it around. I'm going to go kind of make sure you're kind of even at the top. I'm going to sneak through here so I can make sure and get through the sneak through here. Sorry, I know it was way off camera. So you go, you make sure you're going through your thread. And then I just went in and out a, a couple of times. And then kind of catch your edges. Oh, darn it. This isn't going to be pretty either because I had a heck of a time threading this needle. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at that. First try. How about that? Catch both sides, kind of cinch it up. This is just from the tail there. We'll snip that off. I just did, whoopsie, do that all the way down the bottom. And then just kind of randomly go back and forth. I have maroon thread and brown thing, but it's not showing a bit, so we're good. Okay. And then just make a couple of knots. Stick it back up through there. Get your scissors. Snip that. And that. Let me put this over here so I don't end up sticking myself at some time. And we're going to close our book up. Wrap it around a couple of times. And give it a tie. And we've got our cute little tassels on there. You could do it just once and tie a bow. So bring it around here. So you got it like that. So 
So that way you don't have anything when you take it off and you want to write in your book. Just untie it, set it off to the side, and there you go. Okay? All right, guys. Finish decorating up your folio. And then next time we get together, I'll have this one all done. And I'll show you what we what I came up with. Okay? All right. Have fun. And I will talk to you next time. Thanks. Bye.